It used to be, if this is, so I'm going to redefine level of consciousness, and this is just my way of looking at it. But if, if we use the traditional low-high orientation, let's say that my level of consciousness is there. So at that level of consciousness, which I think of as a level of consciousness equals level of understanding. How well do I understand how the system works? Now, level of understanding is driven by insight. So for instance, I have a way better understanding of how the system works than I did a year ago. A year ago, I had a way better understanding of how the system works than I did four years ago. Four years ago, I had a way better understanding of how the system works than I did 24 years ago when I was a chronic alcoholic. Now, when I was a chronic alcoholic, I had some days when I was tragically lost in superstitious thinking. And I had some days when I was relatively clear. And a year ago, I had some days when I was tragically lost in superstitious thinking. And I had some days when I was relatively clear. But these days, I have some days when I'm tragically lost in superstitious thinking and other days when I'm relatively clear. But if we take someone like Sid Banks, he would have days when he was catastrophically lost in superstitious thinking and other days when he was relatively clear. Yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> hammer it home. The, uh, what I want to point you to, and again, this is just how I see it, your level of understanding, once it moves up, it never moves back down. You can never, just like there's nothing I could do to make you forget that you understand how movies work. Nothing I could, you guys all understand enough about movies to know that even if you see a really scary movie, there's no way the guy on the screen can get out of the screen and hurt you. You guys all know enough about movies to know that. Even if in the moment you get genuinely terrified by a movie, there's still no movie that can make you so terrified that you call the police. Oh, that's my assertion to you. Or, or no fire movie that's so scary that you call the fire department. Even though you may be really caught up in it. So I'm saying that once your level of understanding goes up, and that's what I mean by level of consciousness, once your level of consciousness, your level of understanding goes up, it never goes back down. But we do have a variance in our level of clarity moment to moment. Not clarity of understanding, but clarity of mind. Now when we're lost in superstitious thinking, our clarity of understanding is what's going to rescue us. It's why, d despite... Let's say, let's say in the last year, I've had moments when I was filled with anger and hostility, uh, but I never went and bought a gun. There's people operating at this level of consciousness where they'll do that if they experience that for more than five minutes. They'll go and buy a gun or they'll go and get in a fight because their level of understanding isn't there. So even when it looks like I don't understand which end to saw off a shotgun, uh, I'm still not going to buy one. 